All right, Season of the Splicer is officially a thing, even though we totally really didn't know about it already. Season of the Splicer is coming out on May 11th, that is a week from today, time we're recording on May 4th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific Time, as all bungee things go. Um, Season of Splicer, looking forward to it, glad about the name, even though we did already know about it from the Bungie League a couple of weeks ago. Um, my hype has been renewed, although we have no SEMA this season, even though that's what everyone was talking about with Splicers and everything, we do have Myth Rax's story coming back again. He's the guy that we saved in the Enemy of My Enemy mission back in original Destiny 2 during the Rat King era right there, right around that time on Titan. Um, I'm very excited to have more storylines coming back to the game that we can hopefully finally finish off like we did with The Stranger. Now we got Mythrax coming back. Bungie's really trying to get this ever-evolving world tied in a beautiful knot before Witch Queen comes out in the beginning of next year, so I'm really looking forward to that, honestly. Um, coming back with characters, coming back into the fray, Ikora is finally back. New voice actress, which is really nice. Uh, the old VA that they had for her had a lot of scheduling issues. She's super talented, super fantastic. I'm really glad that they got someone new for her. She's back on the forefront again. Definitely missed her a whole lot. Hopefully they don't kill her off like they did with Cade. <laughs> don't think they will, though. I think she'll be just fine. Glad to have her back, though. Really strong to have a main character back in the game for the first time in a couple of seasons now. On the same topic there, we got the Vex coming back as the seasonal enemy. We could also possibly see some Splicer Fallen later down the line. I'd like to see a Siva-like enemy with Vex technology. That would be super, super cool to have. Just like Aramis was trying to get their technology right before the end of Beyond Light. Coming along with that in the Vex, we have a six-man seasonal activity for the first time since Season of the Dawn. The last time we had something like this was during Sundial era, during Dawn a couple of seasons ago. Actually, five seasons ago at this point. Looking forward to it, like having six-man activities, especially if you play with more than three people. Like you have for the past couple of seasons you've been restricted to those three people fire teams i got a big six man which hopefully means it's a little more expansive a little more in depth have a lot more time to get in there and get some of this stuff done hopefully it progresses over the weeks and onto the different planets and areas that we'll be going to i know i saw stuff on europa the moon and the tangled shores so we're definitely going to be moving around i think it's going to be something close to the sundial where you have to go into somewhere else and then come back out some people are going to be working on the inside some people are going to be working on the outside i think it's going to be really good uh, i definitely like the tron aesthetic we've gotten for this seasonal theme it's looking honestly pretty fire i'm a big fan of all of the the colors and the landscapes that are going to be going over the vex are definitely the place to bring this into because they're so mechanical and so methodical like their their simulations we really don't know what they look like besides the infinite forest so this is a different a, a definitely a different take into their world with the themes that we're going in and i'm really enjoying the looks that we're getting so far Moving back into some story beats here, we have the fact that Bunchy is literally sunsetting the sun. The Vex have come down to the last city, frozen us in time, put us in their little simulation, turned off the sun. Now it's going to be freezing cold down in the city. What are we going to do with the children? What about the children? Uh, the only children I really care about are the tiny fallen babies that we got to see today. Everyone was very excited about those, and I thought they were just very cute grenades that they were going to be throwing, but apparently those are actually children. Who knew? But yeah, Bungie Sunsetting the Sun, very funny, love that very much. Um, on to more uh, armor and weapons. Um, the new exotic armor for each class, the new boots for everybody, look fantastic. Titans absolutely got the best one with solar uh, eliminations giving you a bonus damage, which is really nice, especially if we got uh, Igneous Hammer and Trials recently, definitely gonna be using that. Maybe a War Mind Cell build with a bunch of uh, sunspots and maybe the Phoenix Cradle boots. That's gonna be definitely a very synergized build right there. If you wanna get some, get, get some Gus stuff going in for next, season never looking forward to that there are 30 reprised and new legendary items don't know what the split is on new to returning legendaries probably like an 80 20 situation on uh, on returning items and new items because it takes a lot more to do new items than it does old items so that's okay i mean the new items kind of look pretty cool kind of vexy kind of almost like season of the dawn items i feel like what they're going to bring back is stuff from season of dawn just because that recently got sunset again because that's a whole other topic to talk about another time new weapons look cool speaking of weapons the stasis sidearm is going to ruin crucible as if it didn't need any more help being ruined right now with stasis and freezing being able to freeze somebody with a kinetic uh with a kinetic sidearm yeah we're gonna have to talk about that at some other point that's i'm just dead inside from all of this we're not gonna be able to talk more about it right now um i forgot about armor synthesis is actually coming next season and i'm still not the biggest fan of the rollout they're doing on it but at this point i'm just gonna have to get over it and pay with my wallet as everyone else has been doing recently um hopefully I haven't bought a single thing in Destiny 2 with silver, and I don't plan on it with uh, with this new stuff. Just gonna have to live with the cap and move forward with that. Um, 
Other than that, uh, the, uh, the A to 1 area that they that they created for it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely looking forward to spending some time around there, getting my armor ornaments put together. And last but certainly not least, Vault of Glass launching May 22nd, looking real fine. They didn't show a lot of the inside or anything, as they don't want to spoil anything, which is weird, but okay. Um, definitely looking forward to doing that. There's a bunch of other stuff like Bungie Rewards and stuff on their website. If you want to go take a look at it on the seasonal page, the roadmap is also up now. Got a lot of good stuff coming around. And yeah, all right, that's going to be it. I hope you guys are excited for a season of Splicer as I am. Uh, hoping this is a little bit of redemption and hopefully PvP because I didn't see anything about Gambit or PvP in the trailer. So oops, I guess. I guess they just forgot about those two game modes just like they have been for the rest of the year. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like these videos, give me a, a like and a subscribe. Let me get the notification bell rung if you guys want more daily doses of vitamin P. If you guys also enjoy these videos, I've got the rest of them on my channel. Thank you for getting your daily dose of vitamin P, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, and take care.